let's take a look at placing OCO orders from the standard order entry window. Now, we've already discussed placing OCO, or one cancels the other orders, from the dome panel as well as the chart. But there's another way to do it. We can also do it through the standard futures order entry window, which is this gray box. If we change the type from standard to OCO, we can simply use drop down boxes to place the order. Now, this is slower than the other two methods, but it's probably a little more straightforward and a little less error prone. So, for example, if we wanted to trade the E mini SP, we could simply click our, on our quote board, the E mini SP, and we'll notice that the OCO order automatically comes in as a buy and a buy, but we can change that. Most people would do a buy stop or a buy and a buy limit, but you could really do this any way that you see fit. So let's see how this might work in practice. First, most people when they are entering an OCO order are doing so because they already have a position open. So let's go ahead and put a position on. Uh, let's do the, the euro at this point. So we're gonna buy a euro at the market. We are now long one December euro. And to protect that trade, we might wanna place a one cancels the order. And because we're long, this would mean a sell limit and a sell stop. And basically we're bracketing the market. Now keep in mind there are convenience buttons down here. So if you clicked on this one, it would automatically change everything to a sell stop and a sell limit, which is the most common, or a buy stop or a buy limit if you were short the euro. So that just makes things a little easier. It already populates our euro as the symbol. If for some reason it doesn't auto automatically populate, you can always just click on the quote board or you can even click on your position. If you click on your position, it'll populate the ticket to that particular symbol. So we're long a euro, so we'd like to place a sell stop to protect it beneath the market. And we'd also place, place a limit order to take a profit if we're right. We can change the quantity, we can change it from a day order to a good till canceled, and we can even name the time and date that we want the order to be placed or ex or canceled. If you just, you can toggle between times and you can actually change the date by simply clicking on it and, and toggling to your choice. Also, if you happen to do the same or generally the same particular order over and over, rather than having to go through all the trouble of using the drop down boxes and getting it how you want, you can save a template. So we could hit save and then save this as a template. We could call it anything we wanted to. And that way, next time we come to put in a similar trade, we could just toggle to our template and it'll load everything for us. When we're ready to place the trade, we hit transmit and it gives us the opportunity to confirm we're placing a sell stop of 109.41 and we're placing a profit target at 109.52. And we're gonna hit yes. Once we choose to transmit and we confirm, we now see the orders working. So this order obviously is protecting our long Euro trade. Don't forget, we could have done the exact same thing using the dome panel or the chart. So let's quickly review. If we wanted to do it through the dome, we could right click on the contract that we're trading, choose dome, and you'll notice that our order is actually already there for us. Whether you place the order in the standard order entry window or on the chart or in the dome, they're all gonna be visible in all three applications. So you don't have to worry about that. Had we wanted to place the same order using the dome, we could have clicked on this icon here and manually entered it. Or we could have used a variation of a, a bracket order in which, uh, by the way, we were filled on our on our limit orders. We made a few bucks in the euro and our stop was canceled. You'll see there's no other, other orders working. But we could have done the exact same thing in the dome panel by choosing a buy bracket and then placing our sell limit and our sell stop. We could have also entered an OCO order using the strategy feature on the dome or the chart. If you're interested in learning more about the strategy feature and the brackets, be sure to check the segment on the dome panel and the chart trading. But as an overview, we could have configured a strategy with brackets or an OCO and then enabled it by highlighting this and placing a trade. Doing the same thing on a chart, we could have gone to the euro in our quote board, right clicked, pulled up a chart, and with the chart open, choose trade mode, and again, choose our strategy, and proceeded to place an order which, because of the parameters in our strategy, would basically be an OCO order. Again, if you want more detail on these particular features, be sure to visit the chart and dome segments of this tutorial.